We're going to go with pelvic bone. Right here. Okay. First part, ilium. Up here. Okay, iliac fossa. See this big bowl shape? Iliac fossa. Articulating surface with sacrum. It's right here. It's right in here. It's the surface that articulates with the sacrum here. All right. Greater sciatic notch. See this huge honking notch? That's a pretty obvious huge honking notch. Greater sciatic notch. And then we have iliac crest up here. And then we move on to the ischium. It's down here. Ischium, easy way to remember, it's back towards your butt, so it's ischy. Oh, yeah, laugh, but it works. Okay, then we go into pubis. Pubic symphysis. Pubic crest. And then right here, right where all these bones come together, they make a acetabulum, which is the pocket for the femur. Acetabulum. And this thing is... It's here. The acetabulum hole. is the hole that this goes into. This big circular part that it's moving around in. I, there, we'll move its I, leg up it's like here. that. Yep. Okay. It's right in there. Okay. okay, then we have... What else do we get? Oh, obturator foreman. Big honking hole right there. Hard to miss that one. And then we're going to go on to lower limbs. Okay, should be able to know right and left femur. Should be pretty easy to identify. You just look at where the head is, where the front patellar region is, and you're set. So you should know right and left femur. And I should wonder why this thing is spun around so badly. Because I'll spin this thing back up like that. There. All right, there's a light. Okay, femur. We're going to start with the parts of the femur. Head of the femur, up here, sticks into the acetabulum. And I'll get this arm out of the way. I think if I can just tuck it up here. Um, head of the femur. Then we have, let's see, neck, shaft. Then we have the greater trochanter. You guys want to get over here? This is the greater trochanter. Big huge chunk of thing for muscles to attach. I'm worse than that. Uh, should I just drop it? Greater trochanter. Oh. <laughs> See, you made the oh skeleton mad. It attacked you. <laughs> yes. Get your hand out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> greater trochanter, lesser trochanter. Don't make the skeleton mad again. His arms all poised. I actually pulled one of your hairs out. Check this thing out, man. Oh, no. oh Mark. <laughs> it's alive. The headless skeleton. Wow. That's pretty impressive. All right, so this skeleton has now injured one student. Okay. Medial lateral epicondyle, or medial lateral condyle. Condyle, lateral condyle. Then we have intercondyle fossa and patellar surface. Patellar surface, the patella goes into it. All right. Guess what? Patella. This thing's the patella. Okay. Then we move on to the tibia. Tibia's got a lot more parts than the fibula. Um, got a couple things. Medial, medial condyle, lateral condyle, medial lateral condyle. And then we have um, the tibial tuberosity. Notice it gets kind of fat right here. Tibial tuberosity. Then we have the medial malleolus. All right. If it was in an arm, it'd be called a styloid pro stylus or styloid process, but because it's huge and it's on the foot, it's a malleolus. So it's right there, medial malleolus. Then we have 
articular surface of medial condyle, articular surface of lateral condyle. Right here, where it articulates medially, where it articulates laterally. That's it for the tibia. On to the fibula. Fibula. The head is up here. And the lateral malleolus. If it were on an arm, we'd call it a styloid process, but it's not, so it's there. So now we're on to the foot, which I'll put like this, since I think I can get a better picture of it. All right, tall part of the foot. Talus, the heel, calcanus. Okay, the navic navicular, navicular, right there next to the talus, navicular. Then we have the cuti cuboid bone, right next to the calcanus. Guess what? Cuboid starts with C, calcanus starts with C. They're next to each other. And then we have the cuneiform bones. All right, the cuneiform bones. We have medial, intermediate, lateral, from inside to out, all right? Cuneiform bones, these three little ones right there. Okay, we have the metatarsals, and then we have phalanges. Same counting system as the fingers, one, two, three, four, five. Proximal, medial, distal, proximal, medial, distal, proximal, distal. And that should be the end of our skeleton.